Future Progressive. For more information, look in your textbook on page 71 at chart 4-5. The Future Progressive describes events that will be in progress in the future. You use will or be going to plus the verb be plus the verb ing. For instance, if you call me at 11 tomorrow, I will be sleeping. Will plus be plus verb ing will be sleeping. Or another example, at noon tomorrow, they're going to be looking for a, for a new car. We have be going to plus be plus the verb ing. They're going to be looking. Now, compare the second sentence with the third sentence. They're going to look for a new car tomorrow. In the third sentence, we use the simple future. In the second sentence, we use the future progressive. Why? Notice the difference in time between the two sentences. In the second sentence, we have a very specific time, at noon tomorrow. In the third sentence, we have a pretty general time, tomorrow. No specific time. We don't know when tomorrow. We just know tomorrow. When you have a very specific time, if you call me at 11 tomorrow, at noon tomorrow, then usually you want to use the future progressive because it gives the idea that this event will be in progress at that time. At noon tomorrow, they're going to be looking for a new car. They probably started looking for the car before noon. They will probably continue to look for the car after noon. But definitely at noon tomorrow, that event will be in progress. Whereas, they're going to look for a new car tomorrow is an event that will begin and end tomorrow. There is no specific time, so the event isn't going to be in progress tomorrow. It's just going to happen tomorrow. Do you understand the difference? With a very specific time, you often use future progressive. But with a more general, indefinite time, you just want to use the simple future. Often, the future progressive and the simple future are not that different, especially when you're talking about an indefinite time. When there's no real specific time in the future, a lot of times it doesn't matter which one you use. For instance, a conversation between these two people. One person says, I'm so hungry, and the other person says, we'll be eating soon. That means soon in the future, this event will be in progress. But you could also say, I'm so hungry, and the response would be, we'll eat soon. Doesn't change the meaning at all, really. Both mean exactly the same thing. The idea here, though, is that we don't have a specific time in the future. We know that this event will happen in the future, but we don't have a very specific time. We just know soon. And when we don't have a specific time in the future, we often just use the simple future. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences and decide what tense you need to use. Let's look at the answers. For the first one, Nick and Jess, we could say will be driving, or we could say are going to be driving. Why do we want to use future progressive here? Because of the phrase this time tomorrow. We have a specific time. Because we have a specific time, we want to use the future progressive. Nick and Jess will be driving to Boston this time tomorrow. It is important to note here that in the future progressive, we don't really make a distinction between will and be going to. When you use the simple future, sometimes you have to use will, sometimes you have to be going to. But in the future progressive, 
we don't make that distinction. We'll be going to, we'll be driving or are going to be driving, it's the same meaning. It doesn't matter which one you use, they mean the same thing here. There is no distinction between will and going to in the future progressive. Now for the next sentence. When they arrive, their Aunt Mindy is going to take them out to dinner. Okay, why? First of all, when they arrive. That's a time clause, and remember with time clauses, we use simple present. So we want to use arrive. In the second part of the sentence, the main clause, their Aunt Mindy is going to take them out to dinner. Simple future. Why? Because we don't have a specific time here. Now this is a plan made in advance, we can assume, so we want to use going to and not will, because this is not a plan made at the last minute. But it's also not at a specific time, so there's no reason to use the future progressive. And finally, I wouldn't try calling them this weekend. They will be spending, or they are going to be spending, or they are going to spend all their time with their family. So there are many possibilities for this one. Obviously, future progressive is correct, because we can assume we do have kind of a specific time. We have this weekend, and we can assume that during the weekend that this activity will be in progress. Spending time with their family will be in progress. But because it's not such a specific time, this weekend, then we would probably just use the simple future. They are going to spend all their time with their family. A good general rule for the future progressive is, if in doubt, don't use it. It's better to avoid using it than to use it incorrectly. So if you're not sure if you should use the simple future or the future progressive, then use the simple future. Usually it's very clear when you want to use the future progressive. If it's not very clear, then probably the simple future will work. It's probably okay. So like I said, if you're not sure, guess the simple future and you're more likely to be right. For more practice, turn in your book and do exercise 22 on page 72 and exercise 23 on the same page.